Do you remember this game, Gollum? Came out May 25th, and <laughs> a lot of people were talking about this game because it was so bad. It was a really bad game. Uh, the user reviews and the even the scores from critics don't lie. It was pretty universal to how people felt about it. 281 user reviews for the PS5 version here came to a 1.2 average. It's pretty pathetic. And then you have the critic score, which sits at a 34. Nobody was giving this a good review, and it's the same across all platforms. As you can see here, the PC version uh, sits at a 38. The Xbox Series X version sits at a 43, a little bit higher. That's probably because there's only four reviews for it, unlike the PS5 and the PC, which both are well over 40. So the game was not very well received because it was a mess. It was a buggy, broken mess, and it was also boring. The gameplay was pretty shitty. To get the character to save my precious, from what I understand, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you wanted him to say his iconic lines from the movies and the books, uh, you would have to pay for some DLC. Uh, kind of, Kind of insulting. You have to pay for the most notable thing the character is known for saying. But uh, the game is a mess, and it led to an apology from the studio, which you guessed it. Well, maybe you didn't, but it was written by chat GPT. It was an AI written. <laughs> it was an AI written non-apology. And a lot of people are making fun of it today. Uh, as you know, uh, those res those review scores that I just showed you uh, led to this game being 2023's worst reviewed game. Objectively, Gollum is 2023's worst game. Uh, <laughs> but what makes it funny today is the fact that we found out that the apology was written by Jet Chat GPT. So that studio that really just, they, they got roasted to hell over this game. And they put out an apology, and it wasn't even written by them. They literally went to chat GPT and said, write us an apology. And <laughs> they pressed the button, and poof, that's what came out from it. So everyone's roasting this. Uh, merely a day after it launched, uh, the studio behind Gollum issued a apology on Twitter over the game's severe technical problems. We stressed that they were committed to releasing patches so players could enjoy the game to its fullest potential. The studio previously delayed Lord of the Rings Gollum a few months for, after, for a few months for polishing purposes. However, it clearly did not approve much due to it being one of the worst reviewed titles of 2023. Now, former staff members have come forward for the first time claiming AI software actually generated the apology and claimed that the team making the game was set up to fail. So that's kind of the gist of it, and that's really embarrassing. This game was a mess. It's funny they delayed it, said it was going to be polished, and I don't know if you even if you haven't played it, I would recommend like looking up you know bugs of the game and stuff, and you'll get a good laugh. His hair is probably the worst thing about it. Uh, you could just look at that; it just looks unnatural. And I know Gollum is an unnatural looking creature, but I mean, come on, <laughs> this doesn't look anything like him. So everyone roasted this piece of shit, and it's just funny that. The Daleks thought they could get away with this, and they didn't. Everyone is talking about this now. This is going to make things worse for them because it just shows the laziness of their apology and how much they just didn't care that they pretty much ripped off fans of Lord of the Rings. There was a lot of hype around this game, and it just did not deliver. I didn't play it myself. I thought the idea was great. An idea like, I mean, that's a cool idea, Gollum escaping Mordor. And then 
I, I was assuming the idea there, and I don't know if this is actually lined up, but the idea was he got it's the point from where he got captured and gave out the the hobbits location and where the ring was to where he escaped and was going to link up with Frodo and Sam. That's actually a pretty cool idea. And they didn't go through with it. Like instead, it's got a bunch of fetch quest bullshit missions and stuff like that. Nobody liked the game. I, I didn't play it. I, I did watch Heel vs. Babyface stream it uh, quite a bit. And, man, did it look like a frustrating experience. Like just because the AI is just not good in it. And uh, the AI, <laughs> they decided to use AI for their purpose again, and it just did not work out very well for them. So, uh, let's read the rest of this. Merely a day after it launched, a Dalek Entertainment issued an apology on Twitter surrounding the game's severe technical problems. They stressed that they were committed to releasing patches so the players could enjoy it. The studio previously delayed it for polishing purposes, and now they're being destroyed by former team members in this 40-minute video that uh, really tears it apart. I believe you're going to have to translate it because it's... Was mir halt sehr, sehr leid tat, war diese ganzen Menschen... I don't speak German, but you can you can put the closed captions on if you want to watch the 40-minute video. Uh, but there's the name of the, of the actual video if you want to see it. In an interview with the German gaming outlet Game 2, previous employees of Didalic Entertainment spoke about everything that went wrong with the game. They claimed that... The Dalek was unaware of the apology before it went out, and publisher Nakon, Nakon was in charge of its release. In addition, the devs revealed that the game's budget was only around 15 million euros, far below what many AAA games cost to make. There were people working on the game that had been developers for 10, 15, 20 years, and they're good, but they cannot do magic because they weren't given the funds, said former senior developer Paul Scholes. You can't just throw money at something like that. Hang on for another year, and then everything will be fine. That's unrealistic because the game underneath it doesn't support it. And this is where it first broke out. This guy translated that video. And since Lord of the Rings, Gollum launched, Delicate Entertainment has stopped developing games. And I go to another article for that. So, I mean, Lord of the Rings has been taking quite the beating over the past two years, this game, and then you had Rings of Power, which a lot of people didn't like. It had a lot of tourist fans that liked it, but it seems most people that actually like Lord of the Rings thought that show was shit. So, anyway, here's hoping we can actually get some good content eventually. You know, we had a good Lord of the Rings game, those like beat em up PlayStation 2 games that EA, the EA put out. I know, EA, EA but... Uh, there was the Two Towers, especially, which was really good. And then there was a Return of the King one. But I fondly remember playing the Two Towers game. That game was fun. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.